The Confederation of Africa Football, CAF, is ready to dialogue with Cabinet Secretary for Sports, Ambassador Mina Mohamed, to discuss solutions to the troubles of Kenya football. The continental body says it is monitoring the situation in Kenya and will not make any comments at this stage. This as the embattled FKF boss Nick Mwendwa is set to face graft charges tomorrow. The Continental Football Body says it is concerned with the developments in Kenya and supports world governing body FIFA's stand on non-government interference in football federations across the world. FIFA made the position known on Friday, stating clearly that government interference is not acceptable. At the same time, FIFA extended an olive branch to the Ministry of Sports, calling for a meeting as soon as possible. CAF has now joined the chorus and say they are committed to good governance in Africa football administration and therefore it is ready for dialogue with the relevant stakeholders. This is exactly what CS Amina Mohamed was hoping for. This has been successful in other jurisdictions in recent years, as you know. Countries such as Cameroon, Egypt, Ghana and Chad, amongst others, have had caretaker committees in place. Meanwhile, troubled Football Kenya Federation President Nick Mwendwa was questioned by DCI detectives for the third time since his arrest on Friday. Mwendwa is expected to be presented in court on Monday with the detectives expected to seek more time to hold him. Citizen TV understands that the prosecution will be looking for at least 10 days to hold Mwendwa to finalize the investigations. At the same time, the DCI has summoned FKF CEO Barrio Tieno to present himself for questioning on Monday. Michael Kinyi for Citizen TV.